Well, it's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. It's time for duty in Djibouti. Doop, 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 duty in Djibouti. Welcome to another edition of Duty in Djibouti. I'm Petty Officer Jessica Vargas. A civil affairs team from Camp Lemonnier assists the Djiboutian Army with teaching English to Djiboutian military students. Class is in session as we follow Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks for the story. Djibouti's civil affairs team has partnered with the Djiboutian Armed Forces English Language Center, Department of English, to assist the instructors with teaching English to Djiboutian service members. We have came out here five days a week, uh, two hours a day, providing assistance to the instructors with American English. So they get to hear the variety of, I guess, the dialects of American English, which will benefit them in their military career and in their civilian career, being that Djibouti is pushing for English a conversation for countrywide. But it also benefits us being civil affairs. We get to understand a little more in depth in their culture, their language as well. So both parties benefit. This partnership not only strengthens relationships between the U.S. and Djibouti, but opens the door for many future trainings and creates bonds that will last a lifetime. My friends, Americans, they come here to help us teach English uh, to these um, students. The benefits they get from the Americans is this. They uh, experience the real pronunciation of the English language because they have native speakers in their classes and they make conversation with them, they joke, they ask each other's uh, names, families, so that they can be uh, able to understand each other's culture too. Uh, so this helps our relationship to strengthen and to be uh, healthier. We can be uh, friends forever. The English Language Center is the only school in Djibouti with the D-Lab course that is certified through San Antonio. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks. A Maritime Expeditionary Security Squadron provides security for U.S. naval ships entering and exiting the port of Djibouti, Djibouti. Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks takes us to the port for the story. The Maritime Expeditionary Security Squadron, or MESRON-3, from Camp Lemonnier, Djibouti, escorted a U.S. naval refueling ship to the port of Djibouti. My job is to control all the patrol boats uh, to make sure that there's a 360 security perimeter around the vessel, around the uh, ship coming in. We have a lot of uh, U.S. assets out here uh, conducting various missions, whatever the case may be. Uh, so whenever they pull into a port, we need to ensure their safety while they're in port. The Mezron team is comprised of a patrol leader, coxswains, gunners, engineers, and navigators who pilot Sea Arc patrol boats. There is only one patrol leader on a mission. This individual is an E5 or E6 with the authority to open fire should a situation arise to ensure the safety of the vessel, cargo, and members on the vessel. If I deem necessary, uh, that we have to open fire. There's no other means to stop the vessel from being a threat. Uh, we'll open fire to stop the threat. We risk our lives to make sure that the ship cargo and personnel on board the ship that we're bringing in stay safe. So basically what we do is we'll take damage, we'll put ourselves in harm's way to make sure the, sh the ship uh, enters port safely, exits port safely, and nothing happens to it while it's in port. Mezron provides force protection, escort service, and static defense for all U.S. naval vessels that dock in the port. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Staff Sergeant Sarah Weeks. And now, service members from around the camp have messages for home. Alice to Korea deployed off our FLT Puget Sound. I want to give a shout out to my family, my daughter Bridget, all in Seattle, and my mom in Seattle. Hi, I'm Tech Sergeant Justin Hartman, deployed here from Joint Base Lewis McCord in Washington State. I want to give a shout out to my wife Casey and my lovely two-year-old daughter Ella back in Puyallup, Washington. I miss you. We're on the downhill slope and I'll see you soon. Specialist Gavin Larson from Worthington, Minnesota. I'd like to give a shout out to my dad, grandma, and girlfriend Amanda from South Dakota. Um, I love you guys and I miss you and I hope to see you soon. 
I'm Chief Allen, uh, deployed from U.S. Strategic Command in Offutt, Nebraska. I'd like to give a shout out to my wife and children, Brenda Allen, Shakira, Benjamin, Eric and Shavante. Love you guys. Can't wait to see you again. You guys hold it down. I'm holding down here doing what I need to do. Looking forward to see you guys soon. Hi, I'm Julie Kelly. Uh, over here in Djibouti, I come from uh, NAVPAC, Midwest, PWD, Great Lakes. And I'd like to say hi to all my friends at Great Lakes and hi to all my family in Pittsburgh and go Steelers. Hi, I'm Bill with third class Ebert from Gulfport, Mississippi. I'd like to give a shout out to my son Yuri in New York and my family in Dallas, Texas. I love you and miss you and see you soon. Hi, I'm Builder Construction Man Solarzano, deployed from Gulfport, Mississippi. And I want to give a shout out to my family back home in Texas and my bear back in Gulfport, Mississippi. I love you so much. Hi, I'm EO3 Marks, deployed from Gulfport, Mississippi with NMCB1. I want to send a shout out to my baby boys in Gulfport, Mississippi and family in Memphis, Tennessee. I love you, babies. That's it for this edition of Duty in Djibouti. For Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa Public Affairs, I'm Petty Officer Jessica Vargas.